nice little machine. It's a heavier one, but that's okay. Uh, wider tyres for better traction. It's got a bag that comes out. Hose connects here. Float. That gives it buoyancy. So, um, once again, like the 280, if that fills up with water, these can have a habit of doing wheel stands and falling over on their side and doing all sorts of things. So you take it out of the water, give it a shake, and you'll hear the water in there. If there's water in there, you replace it. Um, all right, to pull it apart, it's very simple. They're a very easy machine to work on. It's just, uh, what is it? Um, three, three, four. You start off with the base on these ones. There's no screws at the top. So you've got three screws at the bottom. So you undo them. Oop. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Just remember that. Once you've undone those three screws, the base will come off and that exposes all the guts of it. Now that we've got the base off, we've got three, three, the next three screws which hold the water management system in. You undo those. Now, sometimes these can be a little tricky getting out of there, but it's, you know, you just lever it out and that's it. It's really only held in by those three screws and an O-ring around this tube because that's where the main water comes in. And that's the only place the water travels. So in that one piece, if there's anything wrong with its movement, can be caused there. You've got your three Venturi jets firing up into there. You've got your thrust jet out the back and your hose, your sweet hose and that's it, it's all in one little unit. Very easy. So once you got rid of that, the next one is your gearbox. And that's where the four is, four screws. I'm gonna show you that, that, and these two here. So we undo those. That's pretty much all the workings of the unit out of the machine. Yes, the gears in these wear out, and as you turn that wheel, it'll just be clunky. If it's clunky, change the gearbox. Simple as that. And that, the gearbox will consist of, let's get rid of those two screws. If you take the wheel off. There's a screw in the center there. That's the whole gearbox. So if you need to change it, that's what you change. The chain can stretch. Um, so you might have to change the chain or you can sometimes, if you're feeling energetic, you can take out one or two links of the chain. That'll shorten it up. And the big, biggest telltale sign that that needs adjusting is when the gearbox is back in there, which I'll just do two screws up on this just to show you. What you've got is what they call the chain tensioner, which, as it says, keeps tension on the chain. As the chain stretches, this wheel here will start to get closer and closer to the rear wheel. Front wheel, not rear wheel, front wheel. Front wheel, and once they start to rub, then that creates friction, that'll slow the machine down and it just will lose performance. So what you do is you either put a new chain on or you can take a couple of links out so that these two wheels aren't rubbing. That's all you need to do. Every now and then you'll get um, a, the rear axle, like you've got the front axle which is a solid plastic, you get the rear axle which has got this metal part here uh, and that gives a lot of free movement to the wheel sideways and what can happen is it can get enough so that it actually rubs on the body. Once again, friction slows the machine down, stops it from covering the pull. Uh, you might have to replace that axle which is very simple, it's just undoing these two screws and that whole section comes out and you just do the chain. I can show you. And once again, you would take the hubcap off, take the screw out and the shaft comes out. Put a new one in and then just do it all in reverse. 
Now, once you do that, you might go, oh, and the chain will all muck up. There is a diagram. It's hard to see, probably on camera, but there is a sticker on the side there that shows you how the chain works and what pulleys it's supposed to be going over. Can be a little tricky because and then you just uh, screw that back up. Once again, when you put the wheels back on, you just want to make sure that there's that gap between the pulley here and the pulley for the front wheel. Okay, so if you needed to um, remove the float if it, from being full of water, from shaking around, um, just undo that screw. That pops up and you pull the float out and put the new one in, do the screw up, and that's, there you've got it. Uh, so we'll just uh, now put this together. I'll uh, finish off putting the screws back in. The good thing about these machines is that pretty much all the screws are all the same size bar the ones that hold the wheels on. They're just a little bit smaller, as you can see there. All right, so we've got the gearbox back in there now. Beautiful. Now the water management system. Now you just make sure that that O-ring is um, nice and lubed up. Not too much lube, just make them O-ring shiny. That slots in. Making sure that the, you want to end up with the, the grey body on the inside of the blue body here, around the edge. And that's it. And we've just put the three screws. So we've done four screws, three screws. All right, and then the base. And yes, I've left the single side wheel off for now, and I'll tell you why in a moment. And put that on, and the three screws. Now, the reason why I usually leave the single side wheel off is that um, when you put the body back together, it just allows you to make sure that it's all lined up there. It's hard to do it with the wheels are on. So that's all lined up. So we just put the single side wheel on. And the hubcap, which you just push on. And that's it. Now, if you were going to install this on a tiled pool or a slippery surface pool, you want to use the posi tracks. Now, unlike the 280, all you've got to do is just change the tyres and put the posi track tyres on. You put them on all three, where the 280 only has the front and single side. If you wanted to uh, put the posi track tyres on, you just throw them on all three wheels. There's no adjustment needed to be done to the machine. The only thing to remember is that um, the writing on the, on the tyre goes to the outside, not the inside. So you just, it's easy to take the wheel off this is not the easiest thing to get on. So I've got to roll them on. All right, and that's on with the writing on the outside. And I'll cap back on. And there's your posi track tire on. And then you do that the same to the other wheels, and away you go. Thank you very much.